Hi, I'm Rob McBride, Director of Marketing here at Versa Networks. Today, I'm going to try to explain to you what is software-defined WAN or SD-WAN. So first, let's kind of take a look at kind of, you know, uh, what you may already have in place. And what I mean by that is really taking a look at your transport. So there's a variety of different transports each of your branches may leverage or you utilize across your entire enterprise WAN estate, whether it's business class internet, broadband, MPLS, Metro Ethernet, LTE, and the list can potentially go on depending on where you're at and what you're actually utilizing. So what does SD-WAN do? Well, SD-WAN takes all of this and converts what used to be separate, disparate, individual networks and makes them a part of a common encrypted network managed by software. So in effect, what it does is it kind of abstracts or logically creates a single WAN, basically turning your entire infrastructure into a transport agnostic network that's accessible by all of your endpoints, your branches, your headquarters, your data center, or even your various different cloud services that you're actually utilizing, and converts all these separate disparate networks into a single logical network, or as we've kind of come coined here, a common encrypted network. Now let's break it down to four specific things as far as what is SD-WAN also. So one, it provides secure and dynamic connectivity. It creates a transport agnostic fabric, basically turning all of your disparate WAN networks into a singular network. Three, it turns this into an intelligent network in the sense that it provides application and network active monitoring and then four it turns all of this into a single entity. And what I mean by that means it provides a control and management infrastructure for all things from a single point. So in review, what is SD-WAN? SD-WAN basically fundamentally takes the principles of SDN and applies that to the wide area network.